On today's video, I'm going to give you a practical demonstration on how to use SpermCheck's home testing semen analysis kit. For those of you who just want to get straight into it, I have chapter marked it down below, so just jump straight along to the practical demonstration and you can get right into it. But for those of you who want to know a little bit more about SpermCheck, when to use it and how accurate it is, we're going to get into that first. So SpermCheck have two types of home test kit. They call them SpermCheck Fertility and SpermCheck Vasectomy. Now, both of them work very similarly. Obviously, the first one is there more to check for if what your chances of getting someone pregnant are, and the other one is to check how well, or indeed whether your vasectomy has worked or not. And what I'm gonna be talking about today is much more about sperm check vasectomy. However, the practical demonstration is really the same for both. So you're welcome to use it even if you're using a sperm check fertility test. In terms of timing for sperm check vasectomy, there is quite a lot of debate over this. Now, my advice to you is to wait for three months from the time of your vasectomy until you do your sperm check test. Now, you will hear other advice. You'll hear people say anything down to eight weeks afterwards, or you'll hear some people talking about just the number of ejaculations, maybe 12 to 20 ejaculations before you do your test. Everyone is a bit different, and therefore there is no standard advice. The reason I say three months is twofold. Firstly, it gives a bit longer, so you're less likely to have a test that still comes back positive because you haven't quite cleared yet. And secondly, if a vasectomy does fail, it usually fails because the tubes, having been cut during the procedure, manage to heal themselves back together again. Now, most of the healing that happens after a vasectomy happens in those early weeks after the procedure. So if you wait for three months, you give time for that healing to have taken place, and therefore the chance of doing a test, finding you're clear, and then shortly after healing back together again is much less likely. So three months would be what I'd advise anyone using sperm check vasectomy. The other question we get asked is, well, how accurate is it compared to, for instance, the laboratory, which is the standard way of testing after a vasectomy? Well, they are very different how they do things. The laboratory test takes the sperm, look at it under a microscope, and essentially someone is looking at the semen to see if there is sperm in it or not, and if they are, whether they are swimming or whether they're dead. And that's been done for many years, and it's a tried and tested way to look for the success of a vasectomy. What sperm check do is they look at it this a very different way. They're aware that sperm produce a particular protein and the test itself is looking for the presence of that protein. Now, if there's no sperm there, there's no protein. If there's sperm there, there is protein. And so it can adjust the accuracy of the test on the basis of whether sperm are there or not. Now, if you compare these two tests head to head, the accuracy is really, really very, very similar. So I don't think that you have to be concerned that one way is necessarily better than the other. It's really a choice of um, which test suits you better, um, whether the laboratory or the sperm check is um, more convenient for you, what the individual costs might be for those procedures. So I'm just going to show you now how to use the test itself. Inside of the sperm check vasectomy kit, you have five things. You have the instruction leaflet, which opens up to give you all instructions for the process. You have a little receptacle for holding the semen. We have a semen transfer device, which you also use as a little stirring device as well. We have the reagent that you'll mix the semen with and the sperm check vasectomy test itself inside a packet. So the process is as follows. The first thing to do is obviously to produce the semen. You can either do this by masturbation into the pot itself or via sex into a condom and then pouring it into that pot. I've got some water in here to, for the demonstration today. Now the first thing is, once you've produced the semen sample, you need to leave it for 20 minutes and that just allows it then to liquefy and turn into a complete solution. At the end of the 20 minutes, take your transfer device and you're going to just give it a stir just to mix everything up. So just a normal little stir around there. And then you're going to extract some of the semen into this device. Now, if you look at the device, you can see along it, there's a little line just along the middle there. And as you pull back the plunger on the syringe, it tends to want to stop at that point. Okay, and that's how much semen you're going to extract. So if we place this into the semen, making sure that the end is right down inside, and we pull back on the plunger, back to that line, 
you'll then have that amount of semen in the extraction device. We're then going to take the lid off of the reagent bottle. Now make sure you don't have it turned upside down when you do that because there is some fluid inside here. We take the lid off. We then place the end of the propel into the device and you push down the plunger to drop the semen inside of it. You can then put that off to one side. Place the lid back on and you want to mix it but don't vigorously shake it. Just give it a little stir around by spinning the tube around there. Okay, And then that's going to be ready to work then. We're then going to open up the vasectomy pack here and pull out the reagent test inside. Put those things off to one side. There's a little drying agent there. We obviously don't need that anymore. Now, if you look at the test itself, you can see that there's a little well at the bottom marked S. Now that's where the sample is going to go. And then there are two, there's a window up here with a T and a C. Now C is for control and T is for the test. So once you've dropped this in there, the fluid is going to move its way up through into this window here and it's going to produce a line or two lines. It should definitely produce a line at C. That's the control and without a line there we don't know that it's worked. So we want to see a line here at the end of the test. If we see a line at the T mark, no matter how faint it is, that suggests that you are still fertile. No line at all there, so just a single line further up above and an empty space there with no line means the vasectomy has worked. So, next step, we are going to, with the bottle with the reagent that's now mixed with the semen, take the smaller lid off the top, leaving the purple one on. We're then going to turn this upside down and we're going to drop five drops into the S. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there'll be lots of fluid left in there, that's absolutely fine. And then we'll place that down and if you can look at the camera there, you'll begin to see the fluid making its way up the window it's coming back to the T mark there and it's going to make up to the top. Now this is when at this point we're going to wait and count for seven minutes and we're not going to read the test and for seven minutes okay and at seven minute mark that's when it's accurate. Don't want to look at it again in two hours time you certainly don't want to read it after one minute so wait for the seven minutes and then come back and look at the test. And if I show you on the bottom of this card here inside it shows you a positive test. I'll bring that a little bit closer. Hopefully that's useful. A positive test here shows a line in the C and the T section. And again, it doesn't matter if these lines are faint or not. Two, two lines definitely means you are still fertile. A clear test looks like this. A line at the C but no line at the T. Now if you have a test here that shows no lines at all, that test has not worked and we ignore that one. Okay, now, as I said, we would wait for seven minutes, but because this is just a demonstration, I'll show you what this looks like now after about a minute or so. And that is the view you would see for a clear test. And obviously because we've used water, there is no sperm in it, so we'd expect this test to be clear. So just the single pink line here at the C section. But any sign of line at T, faint or strong, is a suggestion that you are still fertile. So that's how to do the test. If you are concerned about the result, if it's positive or you're just not sure about it, obviously speak to your vasectomy provider and make sure that they give you the advice and if necessary repeat either the test or look at a laboratory test as a second confirmation. I hope that's been helpful for you. Thanks very much for watching.